Hey guys, in today's video, I'll show you how to use an Android phone with a 4G or 5G SIM and a USB cable to connect your laptop to high-speed internet. You know, sometimes when you're traveling to work, on a train or in a taxi, sometimes you have to connect your laptop to the internet. Now, I know you can use a mobile hotspot, but that can significantly drain your battery, phone battery. If you use a USB cable, you can charge your phone while using the internet. All you need is an Android phone, a USB cable, and, and of course, your laptop. So let's dive right in and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Let's say you're working from home and you have to go somewhere for a couple of hours. Now you can either go offline for a few hours, in which case you may need to book a half day or something, or you can simply call a cab, connect your laptop to the phone's internet and keep working during the commute. Of course, the easiest way is to switch on the mobile hotspot, connect it to your laptop, and keep working, right? Wrong. Because Wi-Fi hotspotting consumes a lot of your phone battery, and in a couple of hours, your phone battery can go from 100% to below 50%. Also, you don't get the best possible speeds when connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot. Did you know that? When you use a USB cable instead of a hotspot, not only will you get better speeds, but your phone will keep charging as well. Of course, your laptop battery will be consumed, but that will happen even if you use a Wi-Fi hotspot. So using a USB for mobile internet is a better option than using a hotspot. Now, let me show you how to do that. And I'll also show you the difference between the internet speeds when using USB versus mobile hotspots. The setup you need is very simple. Your laptop, an Android phone, and a USB cable to connect your phone to the laptop. You simply connect your Android phone to the laptop via USB cable. Go to your phone settings to select USB tethering. The steps may change depending on your phone manufacturer, but here are some examples to help you. If it's a Google Pixel phone, you go to settings, network and internet, hotspot and tethering, USB tethering. If it's a Samsung phone, you go to settings, connections, mobile hotspot and tethering, USB tethering. And the third example is for a Sony Xperia phone. So you go to settings, network and internet, hotspot and tethering, and USB tethering. Let me now connect a Google Pixel phone to my laptop to show you how to connect and then show you some speeds. This is what the setup looks like. So I go to settings, network and internet, hotspot and tethering, and USB tethering. Now let me show you some speed tests. When I connected my phone, which is on 4G right now, on average, I got over 120 Mbps when using USB. In the exact same location, without moving the laptop or the phone, I simply enabled the Wi-Fi hotspot to retest the speeds. On average, I got a speed of around 75 Mbps with mobile hotspot. The maximum I got was 94.4 Mbps for downloads and 25.2 for uploads. Now let me show you the kind of speeds I got when using USB on my two hour long journey from well outside of London into central London. As you can see, it varies a lot, but I know that it would have been worse with a hotspot and my phone battery would have been fully consumed. But what if you have an iPhone? Well, in that case, you use the mobile hotspot. There are ways to connect iPhones via USB also, but that I may cover in a separate video. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.